G'day guys, welcome back to the Backyard Workshop DIY. It's time for another tool in focus, and today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Ingo hand plane. So straight up, looks like any other hand plane, but a couple of main differences. One being that the body or the sole is actually folded, not cast. So I'll be interested to see if that has any impact. The other thing is I've read somewhere that these blades are designed to be disposable rather than sharpened. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we'll see how we go. Okay, now, first thing, as I said, I want to see how this thing goes straight out of the box. Two adjusters here. And a uh, pressure plate there to hold it in place. Plastic handles. But a really wide throat, which kind of intrigues me. So I've pushed that blade out just a little bit. So now let's see how it goes straight out of the box. For this first test, I'm not using anything overly hard, just a piece of Tasmanian oak on the edge grain. And it did take a little bit of um, effort to get it going, but after that, it, it's cutting okay. I'm finding it really odd to use simply because of how light it is. It's um, so much lighter than any plane I've used before, but it is cutting through. That blade does definitely need some work um, straight out of the box. It's um, not as sharp as I'd like it to be, but is it cutting through? Yes. Is it working? Yes. And to be honest, it's even producing some, some nice ribbons, which is you know, what using a plane's all about, that satisfaction of those ribbons coming off. So straight out, got some challenges, but it's definitely working. First use out of the box, um, a couple of things straight up. I clearly didn't have this tight enough to begin with because I... Uh, Lost my, my blade back up past the sole. Um, I found this wide throat just kept getting blocked with um, with ribbons, which was a little frustrating. And just its general smaller size, I found for my hands was a little bit uncomfortable, but super light, so I think I could use it for quite a long time. Now, just for a quick comparison, I've got Stanley number four here. We can see that lengthwise we're pretty much the same, but width is where there's a big difference and there is a huge difference in weight. Now, um, what we do need to go back to is that the price point for this is under $20. I need to add another zero and then some for this one here. So from a budget point of view, that's a whole lot cheaper. So there you have it guys, a really quick look at the Inco and plain um, comparison to the, the Stanley. Well, there 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 is no comparison to the more expensive planes. It is a bit smaller. I do find it a little bit too small for my hands because I, as you can see, I, I hit down there don't really fit. But um, is it serviceable? Yes, it does do the job it's designed to do, albeit a little bit fiddly with the adjustment. Now, what I want to do is take that blade off. Give it a sharp because as I said, it cutting just then was purely just straight out of the box and see how we go. I'd love to sharpen the blade, see if that makes a bit of a difference. But overall, for under $20, it does the job. Now, I do need to do a special shout out to the legends over at Master Warehouse Australia for hooking me up with this to give it a shot. Um, really appreciate your support. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also jump over to Instagram and anywhere else you follow me and make sure you're following along so you get new content. And always, have a good one, guys.